what about the ownership rights of what is created by AI? There is a lot of focus on what goes into AI, but I think there should also be a lot of focus on what rights do you have and what is created by AI. Oftentimes in click through terms of a lot of the large language model programs like ChatGBT, it says ads between you and the service provider, you, the user, the consumer owns what's created, which is great stance to take, but can you actually own what is created by AI? And oftentimes the contracts don't address that, particularly if you're doing kind of the end, the individual end user quick through version. So there was a recent ruling from the Copyright Office exactly on point about can AI generated images or item be subject to copyright protection? And so in this case, there was somebody who used AI to create images as part of a graphic novel and tried to apply for copyright registration. And the Copyright Office refused registration for the AI-generated images, despite the fact that there were detailed text prompts used to create the images and a lot of back and forth. The Copyright Office deemed that there was not enough human authorship in what was created, particularly because the output is unpredictable. And so oftentimes I get questions like, what is the difference between using Photoshop pre-AI to alter or change an image versus using asking AI to alter or change an image. And the main thing is predictability. With Photoshop, if you use the lasso tool to remove a background, every single time you lasso around an image, it will remove everything else. But if you send an image into an AI product and you say remove the background, you'll probably get a different response every single time you send the exact same prompt. And so because of that lack of predictability, it's not really a tool, the copyright office is deemed, it's not really a tool controlled by the artist. So what do you need in order to have copyright protection on AI output? The first thing is that human authorship is required. The Copyright Act only provides protection to authors, human authors. So anything that is fully generated by AI cannot be copyrighted and defaults to be in the public domain. Humans can use AI to assist, but the AI can't be the thing that determines the output. This is where I think the arguments are going to be over the next several years as this body of law develops, which is what level of predictability is required and how are we going to be able to establish that there was the proper level of human authorship in using an AI tool. And finally, if you're applying for copyright protection, you have to disclose that AI was involved in creating the product in creating the, the item you're, you want copyright protection. So this has pretty sweeping implications if you think about the extent to which engineers use and other generative AI tools in order to write code for their products. So if you have, if you are working with a company that's using AI in their code generation, really consider this as you think about how can you protect your own products.